Warburg Career Academy and Capital Prep of Hartford. Hi, everybody. My name is Christopher Saunders. This is a DET Sports Media production. 721 left here in the first period. Number 15, Andrew White, the captain and senior for Capital Prep, scored the first three points of the game on the floor for your Capital Prep. Tyler One, Dean Jones, Andrew White, Jeremiah Taylor, Tyler Robertson. And for Warburg Career Academy, Jaden Battle, Linkson Racine, Matt Torres, Chad McCoy, and Marquand Watson. Currently, Capital Prep has the ball. Robertson over to One underneath. Simple layup, and Capital Prep is on a 5-0 run with under seven minutes left to play here in the first period. Battle kicks it over to Racine on the left. Racine back over to Torres on the right. Now Battle again. Now Torres. You can see the, the double man attack of Capital Prep trying to put pressure on this Warburg Career Academy team. Torres loses the ball for a second. Racine, you can see the quick defense of Capital Prep. Nice move by Watson. He goes up, misses the layup opportunity. 6.30 left here in the first. Capital Prep is up 5 to nothing. Back over to White, who puts up another three. Misses it, rebounded by Racine. Capital Prep on the defensive side, really causing this Warbreaker Academy team a lot of problems. But you look at Battle. He has it for career, trying to start something up. Unable to get it though, bounces right back to Torres. Battle has it at the top of the key, loses the re loses the ball for a second, and who has it? That's gonna be number 32, Deion Jones. Long pass over to White, back over to Jones again. Now to One at the free throw line, kicks it over to White from a three, and he banks it in. <laughs> Capital Prep on an eight nothing run, early, 547 left here in the first quarter. Capital Prep comes into this game at a three and six record. Warbury Curry Academy is seven and one. They defeated Woodland last night. Capital Prep on the other hand, like I stated before, coming in at three and six. You can hear the head coach for Warbury Curry Academy, Ronan O'Leary, really getting into his players right now, trying to get to the mindset. This team coming in, although Capital Prep, you look at the record, they have lost to a couple very competitive schools. When you look at Bunnell, Harding, Newtown, St. Bernard, Weathersfield, and Fitch. Trying to wake up this Warburg Career Academy team playing below their standards, playing a lot like a one and seven team, not a seven and one team. Let's see if the talk by O'Leary is gonna wake up Warburg Career Academy. Racine's gonna drive in, he's gonna go with the right hand off the glass, misses it, rebounded by Chad McCoy. And he scores the first two points of the game for career. Eight to two with 5.28 left here in the first period. Deion Jones, you can see the press by Warburg Career Academy. And that forces a timeout by the head coach for Capital Prep, Levi Gillespie. Only early in the first period, eight to two. But it took over two and a half minutes for Career Academy to score their first two points of the game. You can see the struggle on Warburg Career Academy side right now, really trying to stay on the aggressive. On the floor for Warburg Career Academy is Chad McCoy, Watson, Racine, Battle, and Torres on the floor for Capital Prep. It's going to be Jones, One, White, Taylor, and Robertson. Currently, right now, Taylor has the ball with One trying to set up a mini pick. Guarded quickly back over to Renee. Now to Jones, loses it, and Chad McCoy has it for Warbury Curry Academy. Battle trying to move quick. Decides to pull back. Back over to Chad McCoy underneath, he makes a nice move, he goes in. Ball rims just in and out, and Anoy ends up with the rebound and kicks it over to Jones, who's gonna take it coast to coast. He's gonna go up with the left. The shot is gonna be waved, and that's gonna be a charging foul. On Capital Prep, it's gonna come right back to Waterbury Career Academy. Very inauspicious start for Career Academy early in this ball game, 5.54 left here in the first period, eight to two. 
Capital Prep had an eight nothing run. And then Chad McCoy scored the first two points for Waterbury Career Academy. Racine back over to battle. Now to Torres, he shoots the three. Rebounded by Capital Prep. That'll be Robinson. Underneath is gonna be Taylor, who goes up, and oh no, with the second rebound. Unsuccessful, Chad McCoy has it for Warburg Career Academy. Jaden Battle, now to Racine from the three. Warburg Career Academy, unsuccessful in shooting threes, 0 for three, currently at 413 left here in the third period. Onoy from the free throw line. Hard shot, unable to get it, rebounded by Watson. And Battle's gonna try to go coast to coast, taking himself. Who has it, it's Watson, he goes up hard, misses it, rebounded by Jones. Join Jones to Andrew. Now to Jones underneath again, hesitates, waits. Both McCoy and Watson jumped a tad early and that allowed Jones to be able to make the easy layup. And it looks like McCoy's playing with an injury, it's hard to tell what, as he was going up past half court, he seemed to be favoring something making a grimace type face. Racine back over to Torres. 3.26 left here in the first period, 10 to two. Capital Prep is up against Career Academy. Watson with a nice move. He's gonna go in hard and for the possible and one play. Maybe that's the type of play that will wake up this Career Academy team. Currently down 10 to four, 3.19 left here in the first. Chester Doctor is going to be coming into this game for Chad McCoy. Watson going to be attempting his possible M1 shot. And he completes the three point play. 10 to 5, 319 left here in the first period. Capital Prep is up by five. Jones has it. Back over to Robinson. Robinson guarded by Battle. Now back to Jones. Double man, both Watson, long pass over to White. He's gonna attempt another three. Bang! 13 to five. Capital Prep is up against Career. Career's gotta start waking up, time is ticking. I know it's early in this ball game, but to set a tone, you can see what Capital Prep is starting against this Career Academy team. And that's gonna be another turnover for Career Academy. Taylor went past the three point line and then went back over to reset. Jones. Fake pass to White, holding it. Trying to find somewhere to pass it to. That's gonna be White again for three. Hits the outside part of the rim. White two for five from the three point line. Battle's gonna shoot a three from the right side. Unable to get, Watson has it. And as he was going up for the possible shot, or layup, pardon me, the ball hit his right knee, went out of bounds. 227 left here in the first. Capital Prep is up 13 to five. Taylor. Has it, Jones was inbounding, playing a little bit of patty cake, throwing it back and forth, half the cross, half court. Jones, long pass over to Onay. Now back over underneath is gonna be Robinson. He goes in for the layup, 15 to five, 211 left here in the first period. And Rowan O'Leary cannot be happy with his squad right now, playing uncharacteristic basketball here in the first period against a three and six capital prep team. Battle back over to Torres. Torres makes a move, trying to find somewhere to go, ends up dribbling back out, kicks over to Bell. He attempts the 10 footer, misses it, rebounded by Capital Prep, and Jones is gonna take it up. Jones is gonna go coast to coast, kicks under One underneath. You can see the precision pass passes by Capital Prep. And that forced a reaction from Ron O'Leary to his bench. First team foul by One, third team foul for Capital Prep. None for this Warbury Career Academy team. Battle, back over to Torres. Back over to Battle again. Guarded quickly by Taylor. Now to Watson. Watson with the jump shot, misses it. Warbury Career Academy is able to get to the ball quickly. Back to Racine on the left. Watson's calling for it. Able to get the rebound, just stay in bounds. Back over to battle to reset. The passes by Warburg Career Academy right now, not on target. 
and then Watson, uncharacteristic, loses the ball. Jones has it, makes a nice move, and then Watson retreats. 57 seconds and counting left in the first period. 15 to five, Capital Prep is up. Back over to Taylor. Now Taylor has it again to Jones. Now to White, he shoots a three. Battle has it for the rebound. Has Torres wide open, he goes in for the easy layup. Misses it. The Zebras are gonna say that Torres stepped out of bounds. And the head coach for Warburg Career Academy puts both of his hands on his face in disagreement nonetheless, because the play right now by Warburg Career Academy is not something that he's seen this whole season. 30 seconds and counting as Robinson back over to White, loses it for a second, behind the hand, Pat, behind the back pass, went right back to her career academy, battle goes up. Not able to get, Watson has it, puts up the garbage points, 15 to seven, 14, seven second, 14 seconds and counting. And battle trying to strip it away, and that's gonna be a foul. First team foul on battle, first personal of the game. Jones inbounding the ball with 10.7 seconds left. Back over to Robinson. Clock is ticking, seven, six. Excellent defense by Racine. Now to Jones, now to White. Makes a move and shoots the three. Complete air ball and at the end of one. 15 to seven, Capital Prep is up over Waterbury Career Academy. We're gonna stay right here at the Waterbury Career Academy Gymnasium in Waterbury, Connecticut. My name is Christopher Saunders. This is a DET Sports Media production. This game right now, Capital Prep playing like a team that wants it a lot more than Career Academy. Career coming in at seven and one. Defeated Woodland last night in a very one-sided game, but it doesn't seem like Career Academy is, their heads are not in this ball game. Playing uncharacteristic basketball, really a lot of sloppy turnovers. The passes are not crisp. Capital Prep seems like they just want it more. Rono O'Leary, the head coach for Career Academy, Really trying to get into his team right now, challenging them. Do they want this game? Got to set the tone early here in the first, or now in the second period. First period was won by Capital Prep. Let's see if Warburton Academy is going to wake up and win the second period. On the floor for Career Academy, it's going to be Watson, McCoy, Battle, Racine, Torres. On the floor for Capital Prep will be Oney. Jones, White, Taylor, and Robinson. Inbounding is going to be Racine. Let's begin the second period at about 5.15. Battle. Now to Torres on the left. Nobody's near him. Blown defensive play by, Cap by Capital Prep. Let's see if Warburg Academy can capitalize, and they do. Watson to Chad McCoy underneath. Press by Warburg Academy, trying to force Capital Prep to, to commit the turnover. Long pass over to White. He puts up a three from the right side. Right into the hands of Battle, trying to force a transition play. Now to Watson underneath. He goes in hard, and he gets the two points. 15 to 11, 4-0 run by Warburg Career Academy over Capital Prep. And it seems like the talk by Ron O'Leary has woke up this Career Academy team early. 7-11 left here in the second period. Racine almost stole that ball, but they're going to say it's off the hands of Jones, forcing the turnover. Racine inbounding. That's going to be battle. Rowan O'Leary calling the three offensive drive play. Now to Racine on the right. Making a couple moves. Watson underneath. Puts up the easy bunny. Watson scoring four out of his six points here in the second period. 15 to 13, 6.45 left here in the second. Capital Prep is only up by two. White, stolen by Torres. He's gonna go in. Jones misses the slap opportunity to steal the ball, strip it out of his hand, and now we're all knotted up at 15. 6.30 left here in the second. Robinson over to White, back to Robinson again. Guarded by Racine. Dribbles all the way back around to Jones, fakes it. He's gonna take a two step, goes in hard, misses it. One picks up the garbage, 17 to 15. And now Bow's gonna slowly take it up half court. Capital Prep up 15 
to four at one point in this ball game. Now 17 to 15, this Career Academy is trying to fight back little by little in this game. Errant pass over to Torres is able to keep it alive. Battle has it now at the top. Guarded quickly by Robinson. And Onay tried to strip it away and Chad McCoy goes in for the hard two points. McCoy and Watson have to take over this ball game. Pick up the slack for Battle, Torres and Racine struggling here early in this first half. 5.28 left here in the second period. And Capital Prep committing the turnover as Onay went over to White, kind of making a gesture as that was a pass way over his head. Three team fouls for Capital Prep, one for Water Recruit Academy. We're still not up at 17 with 5.26 left here in the second. Racine out of this ball game, Bynum is back in. Or actually he's in this ball game for the first time here in the first half. Torres on the right, guarded quickly over by a couple Capital Prep players. Torres makes a move, shoots the three. Rebounded by One. It looks like Chad McCoy jumped a tad early, missed time to jump. That allowed Capital Prep to be able to get to the ball. Easy 15 footer by number 21, Jeremiah Taylor. Jer Jeremiah Taylor now 20 to 17. Jaden Battle. Back over to Bynum. Bynum tried to make a quick pass over to Chad McCoy underneath, but then stolen by Capital Prep. Then Robertson's going to go in hard, and he's going to be fouled as he was trying to attempt the layup. He'll be at the charity stripe for two foul shots. Bynum with his first, team second. Robinson attempting his two foul shots, his first. Right hand, right handed shooter, he makes the first. And second free throw is made, two for two from the free throw line is Robinson. 20 to 17. 4.37 left here in the second period. Warbury Career Academy has to wake up playing uncharacteristic basketball of Warbury Career, but Watson makes a nice spin move. 21 to 19. You can hear Watson saying he doesn't want it, he doesn't want it. And then Capital Prep answers right to Watson saying they do want it with Taylor with a nice bunny layup. 23 to 19 with 408 left here in the second. Watson, now at the three-point line, he's gonna drive in, but fouled on the play. It's by the sophomore, Anderson. Capital Prep's fourth. Inbounding is gonna be Jaden Battle. Battle to Chad McCoy. Back over to Battle again. Making a couple nice moves. Now all by himself is Bynum for three and just goes in as it was making a little bit of a snow cone action into the basket. That's exactly what Career Academy needed. Now only down by one. 3.47 left here in the second. Jones makes a nice move. And he is able to deflect it into the basket. That was part of me, that was Robinson, not Jones. Number 25 for Capital Prep. 25-22 for three by Battle. Unsuccessful, rebounded by Capital Prep. And now Capital Prep trying to make the transition. Mascot for Capital Prep is the Trailblazers. And then Chad McCoy slaps it out of the hand of it looked to be number 13, Andre White. Possession arrow pointing towards Capital Prep on the floor for Career Academy. It's gonna be Watson and Chad McCoy out into the game, just a doctor. Ball just rims in and out. Also back on the floor is Langston Racine. Battle now on the left. 3-10 left here in the second period, 25-22. Back over to Battle. Long arms of Robinson trying to make, Battle try to attempt to pass somewhere again to the passing lane. And they're gonna call Racine with a traveling call as he was, it looked like one of the capital prep players 
had his foot out and Racine kind of tripped over that, forcing him to carry the ball. And that's what allowed Capital Prep to get to the ball. That turnover slash traveling. 2.48 left here in the second period. Capital Prep with a commanding lead up by three, but they commit the turnover and Racine's gonna try to change the fate of Warburg Career Academy. 2.38 left here in the second. Bynum, and that's gonna be a foul on number 13, Andre White. Links to Racine inbounding. Back over to Bynum. Bynum, now to Battle. 2.28 left here in the second period. Battle makes a nice move, he goes in. Hesitates, almost moves around One, and that's what allowed Battle to be able to get into the basket easy with the right hand. 25-24, 2.17 left here in the second. Double team by Warburg Career Academy. Bynum and Torres, and he loses the ball. That was number 25, Robinson. And then Battle was going in, but then deflected by Andre White. Curry Academy is going to retain the ball. Bynum attempted the shot, looked like he was fouled by One, but instead Robinson commits the foul above the three point line. Six team foul for Capital Prep. Watson's coming back in this game. Looks to be Torres is coming out. Jessa Doctor also comes back in this game. Doctor with a nice move. Right hand off the glass. Missed it. Rebounded by Capital Prep. And Robinson's going to try to go coast to coast. Gives it to over number 13. White misses it. Rebounded by One. Second and third chance opportunity. Missed. Can Career Academy capitalize on that? Yeah, and they do. Lakes and Racine with the nice no look. Semi rainbow shot. And now they're up by one. 26 to 25, 131 left here in the second. Robinson trying to call a play. Then Racine started to drop back. Possession arrow is going to stay towards Capital Prep. Inbounding is going to be White. White over to Robinson. Now back over to White again. Watson and White playing patty cake, throwing it back and forth with a minute 15 left here in the second. That's Taylor. Now to Robinson again. Aaron pass over, pass was intended for One, went over, and then Battle's gonna try to go coast to coast. He misses it. They're gonna say it's off the hands of Robinson for capital prep. Possession arrow pointing to Career Academy. Now with one minute left here in the second, Career Academy's up by one. Bynum inbounding to Battle. Battle guarded by White. Now Racine's gonna go in. Misses it, rebounded by Chad McCoy. He misses the second chance opportunity. Now Capital Prep's gonna try to regain the lead in this shot opportunity. Misses it, then Taylor tries to go up for the second chance. He gets it. 27-26, clock is ticking, 35. Battle to Bynum. Back over to McCoy. Now back to Bynum on the left, 29 seconds. Battle, you can see the pressure defense by Capital Prep. Battle, looked like he kind of walked a tad on that before he made the pass. But nice dis distribution of the ball between Battle to Chad McCoy underneath. Now 28-27, 13 seconds. 11, 10, does Capital Prep have a chance for the final shot to regain the lead? The long three. Misses it, rebounded, shot. Another air ball, that was by Benfield at the end of the first half. Very sloppy, sluggish first half on both sides between Capital Prep and Waterbury Career Academy. Although Career Academy should be grateful, they're, only, they're up by one. They were down at one point, 15 to four. They were able to make some sort of a comeback, but very uncharacteristic basketball on both sides. Let's see what kind of halftime adjustments will be made. But we'll come back with about a minute left of halftime to go over both sides of what happened in this first half. But it's 28 to 27, Career Academy's up by one. 
This is a DET Sports Media production. My name is Christopher Saunders. We will be right back to bring second F action here at Waterbury Career Academy Gymnasium. DET Sports Media production. Career Academy is up by one, 28 to 27. But if you stay tuned or were able to watch the first half, you saw a Career Academy team that did not look like a 7-1 team or even looking at what happened yesterday when, when they defeated Woodland in a very one-sided game. A lot of turnovers, the, the passes were not very crisp, and you could see the lack of focus was swaying from possession to possession. But it seems like Ron O'Leary, if he called a timeout early in the first quarter, seemed to really have woken up this Spartans team. But let's see if halftime was an opportunity to be able to regroup and be able to come back and change the pace of this game right now, which currently they're only up by one. On the floor for Warburg Career Academy, Racine, McCoy, Watson, Battle, Torres on the floor for Capital Prep will be Onay, Robinson, Taylor, Jones. Capital Prep misses the three opportunity stolen by Torres. Slows down the pace of play now. Back over to Watson, who's going to go in. Chad McCoy, three simple passes by Career Academy, and that puts him now up 30-27. to 27. Nice ball distribution by Career Academy. You can see the press trying to put on this Capital Prep team to be able to force some turnovers early. That's now back over to Onay. Trying to make a quick pass over to Jones, and that commits the turnover. On the floor for Capital Prep is going to be Onay, Jones, Robinson, Taylor, and White. Racine back over to Bow, guarded quickly by Taylor. Taylor sticking his hands out, trying to not allow him to get into the passing lane. Missed opportunity or block by Chad McCoy. Torres, and that's going to be a fouling call on Capital Prep. 7.02 left here in the third. O'Neill's going to be coming out of this game for Capital Prep. Jones coming back in. This Capital Prep team last year finished at a 12 and 11 record, was the 21 seed in the Class S state title or state tournament rather, lost to Aerospace early in the set in the second round. And then Watson with a nice move. Career Academy seems to be playing with a lot more energy here in the second half. I know it's early, but you can see the adjustments so far that they've made. Quick passes over by Capital Prep, trying to find somebody open. That's Taylor. Back over to Jones. Now to White. White fakes it. Now to Jones again. Now the three. Long. Missed opportunity. Battle has it. Back over to Torres on the right. He shoots the three. Bang. 35-27. 2 left here in the third period. And then another costly tur turnover by Capital Prep. And Bow's going to take it himself. Misses it. We're seeing, or actually, pardon me, that was Watson who went up. But does it hurt Warby Career Academy as they're going to retain the ball? 6-10 left in the third. 35-27. Actually, it's going to her career academy as Jones is going to be inbounding the ball. Also into this game is going to be Anthony Benfield. Benefield. Robinson back over to White. One bounce pass to Jones. Another pass over to Benfield. He misses the easy layup. And it's going to stay Capital Prep's ball. Capital Prep coming in 3-6. and six. Career academy 7-1. and one. Jones all by himself, and that was a missed blown assignment by Chad McCoy for Warburg Career Academy. Allowed Jones plenty of space to be able to get the easy five footer. 35 29, 553 now left here in the third period. Battle guarded quickly, shoots a three, misses it, rebounded by Jones. Kind of lost his footing for a tag, was able to hit it with his left hand over to Jones. Guarded quickly by Torres. Long pass over to White. Back over to Robinson. Now to Jones has it, guarded by Torres. White, see the passes outside the three-point line by Capital Prep trying to set up their shot. But Career Academy playing the type of defense 
that you like to see early in this period. Jones misses the three-point shot as it completely missed the basket, hit the glasses as it's still shaking, entering now the five-minute mark, 35-29. Battle back over to Racine. Racine to Watson. Watson's going to drive into the basket. He goes in, misses it, but as both Racine and Chad McCoy collided for Career Academy. And then Watson comes in hard with the block. They're going to call a foul. But Watson showing the type of emotion that you want to see out of this Career Academy team. Maybe that will wake him up. And you can see Rowan O'Leary is not happy with the refs right now as they wanted a foul call on the other side of the basket but didn't get it. At the charity stripe will be Robinson for Capital Prep who makes his first. And Ron O'Leary is also saying that the Watson block was all ball. But the Zebras have obviously decided their judgment on the other way. Robinson misses it. And then Watson comes in with the rebound. Watson, Chad McCoy's all by himself. He goes in, misses the easy layup. But then Racine strips it out of the hand of Benefield. And he gets rewarded with the two points. 35 to 30, 427 left here in the third period. Jones over to Benefield, who shoots the three, and it's nothing but net. 37 to 35, 418 left here in the third. Both teams with one team fouls apiece. Battle for Career Academy. He's gonna drive and kick it over to Racine, makes a move, goes in hard with two steps, and then right to the hands of Watson, who makes it for the easy two points. 39-33, easy bunny layup for Watson. Now Robinson's pointing over to Benefield to move over. Battle and Torres putting the pressure. Jones back over to White. Now to Jones again. You can see the pressure by Warbury Career Academy. Kicking it over to Benefield. Went off his right hand. Another turnover for Capital Prep. Jones is coming out. One is coming back in. 39-33. 3.38 left here in the third. Watson inbounding to Battle. Battle, taking his time, over to Racine. Now to just the doctor who's into the game for Career Academy, back over to Torres at the top, makes a nice move. Unsuccessful, rebounded by Jones for capital prep. And then Robinson's gonna take it up court. Benefield looked like he anticipated on doing a, can't quite describe the kind of move he was gonna commit but it seemed like he was thinking two steps ahead before he even had the ball. Took his eyes off it, forced a turnover. 3.08 left turn in the third, 39-33. Kerr Academy still up. Battle has it for career. Actually, pardon me, that was Torres. Now Battle has it. Battle trying to make a nice move. He goes in. Man, what a play by Battle. Kerr Academy needed that, 41-33. And Benefield trying to find out what to do with the ball. Kind of pause for a quick second. And then Battle tried to strip it out of the hand of Robinson. You can't question Battle's head, though. He's been playing hard this whole game. Robinson inbounding to Benefield. Benefield makes a move past Torres. Makes another move. Kicks it over to Jones. Shoots the 10-footer. Misses it. Rebounded by Racine. And Racine's going to make, make a quick pass over to Battle, who makes a three-step move. He's fouled hard. And he'll be at the charity stripe for two shots. 41-33. 2.22 left here in the third. Capital Prep with their second team foul. Career Academy with only one. Career Academy is going to be subbing in Bynum. First free throw was made. Torres will be coming out of this game for Bynum. Battle second shot. Makes it in, perfect from the charity stripe. Subbing in is gonna be Jeremiah Taylor. Coming out of the game is Benefield. 
Taylor inbounding. Finds One. Trying to make a move. Turns around, gives it over to Robinson. Guarded quickly by Racine, and then Bynum's right behind him. Crosses half course, Capital Prep. Watson to battle. Somehow they're able to find a way by Capital Prep. Unsuccessful to be able to capitalize on the missed opportunity. But they're going to say that the Jones and one play counts. Foul committed by Career Academy. Foul on Bynum, number 24, his second, team second. Jones, a right handed shooter. Completes the three point play, 43 to 36. Now, 205 left here in the third. Career Academy clinging to the small lead that they have, although they got to give them credit. They have fought back, played a very sluggish first period, but from the second period on, they're playing a completely different ball game. Battle for three, and that was a wet three-point shot. 145 left here in the third. 46-36, they're up by 10 over Capital Prep. Robinson, battle, Racine behind him. Almost stolen by Marquand Watson. The effort by both Battle and Watson really being able to get up to the court and forcing pressure on Capital Prep has allowed them to be able to be in this ball game, currently up by 10. Inbounding will be Taylor. Taylor to Robinson. Robinson crosses half court. Racine playing hard defense. Two bounds pass over to White. Now to Onay underneath. He makes a move. It makes the easy little behind floater. 46-38. Makes the alley-oop shot. 114 left here in the third. Bynum, no look pass to Watson. He goes in. Gets his own rebound. Kicks over to Battle at the top. Guarded quickly by two capital prep players. Racine thought about the three and then drops back. And then Bynum is now at the center part of the court. Trying to reset. Bynum on the left, guarded by Jones. Attempts the shot and makes it. 48 to 38, back up to 10 is the lead for Career Academy. Onay, back over to Taylor. Now to Robinson. Robinson dribbles past two Warburg Career Academy defenders and then stripped out of his hands by Watson. Racine goes in, he's gonna be fouled and that foul is gonna count. Three point opportunity by Racine. With 25.2 seconds left. 50 to 38, Career Academy is up over Capital Prep. Racine, right handed shooter. Just goes in and out, rebounded by Onay. 22 seconds left and counting. Capital Prep has to answer back. They're going to say that Robinson traveled, costly turnover with Capital Prep down by 12 with 19 seconds left, only in the third period. Let's see what Battle can do to try to increase this lead for Career Academy. Expect Battle to run this clock out, maybe even have the final shot. Attempts the shot, misses, rebounded by Capital Prep. That's Robinson, clock is ticking, two, one. And at the end of three, as Jeremiah Taylor misses the easy layup with the left hand, Capital Prep is down 50 to 38. We're going into the fourth here at the Warbury Career Academy Gymnasium. Capital Prep coming in at three and six. Career Academy coming in at seven and one. We'll be right back for fourth period action. Back here at the Waterbury Career Academy Gymnasium. My name is Christopher Saunders. This is a DET Sports Media production. Career Academy is up 50 to 38 over Capital Prep with Racine inbounding the ball for Career Academy. Now Battle has at the top. Been a very sluggish game for both sides. Bynum for three. 
makes it in. 53-38, 7.50 left here in the fourth. You can see the press by both Racine and Battle for Career Academy, forcing Capital Prep to try to turn over the ball. No look pass over to Jones underneath. And he's going to be fouled at the free throw line for two shots. As you see the head coach for Capital Prep, Levy Gillespie, wanting to talk to both, or actually all four of his Capital Prep players, Robinson, One, as Jones' first shot. Nothing but net, as well as Taylor and White. Trying to discuss maybe a little bit about what to happen if this free throw was missed back on the defensive side, or maybe even a little pep talk. Second free throw was made right after that shot. Watson has it for Career Academy. Three capital prep, actually four playing way up inside. But now able to break that press. Racine over to Chad McCoy underneath. And he's going to be fouled for two shots at the charity stripe. Chad McCoy's first shot, completely off the mark. Chad McCoy now attempting his second free throw. Misses both of them. Excellent job by Capital Prep to be able to box out, not allow Career Academy to be able to get a second opportunity. Almost was stolen though by Chad McCoy. Went right back into the hands of Capital Prep for two points. Now 53 to 42, 7 11 left here in the fourth. Watson, long lateral pass over to Racine. Try to keep it alive, but that's going to be a foul on Taylor for Capital Prep. Fifth team foul for Capital Prep. Only three for Waterbury Career Academy. And after that foul, forcing Torres to come back in, Bynum's coming out. On the floor for Career Academy is going to be Watson, Torres, Racine. McCoy and Battle. And on the floor for Capital Prep will be Robinson, White, One, Jones, and White. Watson trying to make a move, goes in hard. Unsuccessful making that little hook shot. But then Chad McCoy is able to strip it right back out for Career Academy. Looks, passes over to Watson. And they're going to say that's a foul on Jones as Watson went down hard to the ground. But Gillespie's looking at the refs like, how is that a foul? But nonetheless, that's going to put Watson at the free throw line. Actually, pardon me, it's going to be an inbounds pass that was before the attempted shot. So it's on the court foul. Watson guarded quickly over by Taylor. Long pass over to McCoy. Fakes it once, goes in. And man, what a play by Chad McCoy. Showing a little bit, little bit of an emotion lift after that. Career Academy needed that. 53-42, 6.32 left here in the fourth. Now Capital Prep's going to call a timeout as Gillespie's going to talk. Looks to be one of the refs about how is that a foul. And now starting to get a little bit a little bit emotional by Gillespie to the ref right now. Trying to plead his case, but he's not going to be able to win it. Because at the end of the day, the Zebras have the final say on what is a foul and what isn't. But it's a full timeout by Capital Prep. Currently 55-42, 6-32 left here in the fourth period. 17 fouls for Capital Prep, only three for Warburg Career Academy. Spartans have to be thankful that, in the words of Napoleon, going dating back in history, why do anything to your opponent if they're just going to shoot themselves in the foot? Or in translation terms, the back in history, why do anything to your opponent when they're going to defeat themselves? Capital Prep has committed quite a number of turnovers dating back to the second period 
and have been very unsuccessful in really being able to dominate underneath in the paint like they were in the first. They took advantage of the mistakes by Warbury Career Academy. But then once Career started to fight back, you saw the sloppiness of Capital Prep allowing Career to get back in this game to the point now where it's 55-42. Chad McCoy completes the three-point play. 56-42, 631 left here in the fourth. Robinson guarded quickly by Battle. O'Neal with the pick. Robinson crosses half court. Back over to White looking for somebody. Tries to pass it to Jones underneath, but Watson strips it out and steals it for Capital or for Career Academy. Then Watson's going to go coast to coast. Foul wasn't called. Battle shoots the three. Just gets out. Jones has it for Capital Prep, but then McCoy and Watson are both trying to force the turnover. And then Career Academy's going to retreat. Jones. Unsuccessful in the layup. And then Battle has it to Watson. Misses the dunk opportunity. Another turnover for Career Academy. And Capital Prep's gonna try to capitalize right back. Another missed layup. But Capital Prep has it blocked by Chad McCoy. And then Taylor trying to go up two, three, and four times. Looks to be a foul on Warbury Career Academy. Foul will be on number 13, Chad McCoy. His first team's fourth. That'll put One at the free throw line for two shots. Coming out of this game will be White. Look to get a number of who's coming back in. Actually, pardon me, that was on the court shot, so it will not be a free throw. Back into the game for Capital Prep will be Kobe Anderson. Turnover by Capital Prep. Long pass over to Bynum. He goes in off the glass. And Warbury Career Academy needed that two points. 58-42, 5.30 left here in the fourth. Taylor back over to Robinson. One bounce pass to Jones. Now to One. Simple precision passes by Capital Prep. Jones to One for two points. 58-44, 5.14 left here in the fourth. Watson, you can see Bynum jumping for wanting the ball. And Torres putting his hands up. He gets it for three. Bang. 61-44. Assist by Jaden Bow to Torres. Five, or actually four, 56 up here in the fourth. One has it for capital prep. Soft touch, misses it. But a foul will be on Chad McCoy, putting One at the, at the charity stripe. Actually, that will be on Bynum, his fourth. And Bynum has to be careful to potentially foul out this game early. First free throw was made. Jessa Dotter coming back in for Warburg Career Academy. Second free throw was made. Now both bigs are in for Career Academy. Just the doctor and Chad McCoy. Battle trying to get on. Pass half court. He does. Guarded quickly by Jones. The long arm number 30 for, Ch for Capital Prep. Aaron pass. Retained by Chad McCoy. Racine. Torres for three. Unsuccessful. Rebounded by Capital Prep. That's Robinson. Then Torres is able to slap it out. Maybe stop Capital Prep of getting the two points to Jones underneath. And now... Torres is all by himself. Makes the easy bunny. 63-46. 4-18 left here in the fourth. Robinson to One. Kicks it, misses it, rebounded. And they're going to be, or actually they're going to say it's a foul on Chad McCoy. On Anderson. Putting him now at the free throw line for two shots. Anderson's first shot is good. On the floor for Capital Prep. Anderson. Taylor. One. Jones and White on the floor as the second free throw was made. It's just the doctor. Battle, Racine, McCoy, and Torres. Battle crosses half court. Chad McCoy all by himself for the easy two points. 
And Gillespie is wondering, how is he wide open underneath the basket? With 65-48, 3.51 left here in the fourth. Robinson playing back. More of a zone type defense by Career Academy. Anderson back over to Robinson underneath. Onay, five footer. Misses it, rebounded by Jessa Doctor. Battle tempted to give the long lateral pass to Torres and decided to keep it himself. Now crosses half court. Battle to Torres on the right. Taking this time, trying to find somewhere to go. Gives it now to Doctor. Double, two bounces, then stripped out. And Capital Prep now has it with 3.08 left here in the fourth. Anderson, guarded by Racine. Trying to make a move. Does. Goes up. Capital Prep misses, rebounded by Chad McCoy. That was Anderson who missed the layup. Now 2.49 left here in the fourth, 65-48. Battle now playing back. Pointing to Torres. Goes in. And then Chad McCoy picks up the garbage. 67 48, 231 left here in the fourth. Capital Prep starting to slowly see this lead slip away from them. Clock is ticking. Anderson trying to make a move on Racine. Can't. Prep trying to find something to do. Jones to O'Neal underneath. Kicks it back over to Taylor for the two points. 204 left here in the fourth. There's going to be a timeout by Warburg Career Academy, and that's going to force a major substitution. We're going to get four, at least four new players coming into the game for Career Academy. Sixty-seven to fifty. 2.03 left here in the fourth period. 17 fouls for Capital Prep. Six for Career Academy. Career in the first period played uncharacteristic career basketball, but then we're able to really step up from the second period on. We're going to have five new players, not four, but five new coming in. For Career Academy, it's going to be Noah Anthony. Hammond, Barnaby, Jonathan Edwards, and also two number 20 for Career Academy. Edwards has it, guarded by Anderson. Edwards trying to make a move. Warburg Career Academy having five new players coming into this game with the clock now ticking with minute and 47 left. Barnaby has it, back over to number 20. Attempts the two, just goes out, rebounded by Jones. And Capital Prep trying to cut down this deficit. With the clock ticking, their opportunity to be able to come back slips as each second passes by with a minute and 27. And then stolen by Noah Anthony, and what a heads up play by Noah Anthony. High basketball IQ I've seen out of this kid dating back to the Kennedy game. For three is Edwards. First three points of the game for Edwards. 70 to 50 with a minute 10 left here in the fourth. Number 20 is Kobe Hunter. Capital prep now, 59 seconds. This game is all for naught. Career Academy is gonna move to an eight and one record after this game. Capital prep will move to three and seven. Ball's in there a couple times, who ends up with it? It's gonna be capital prep, the hustle by Capital Prep continuing even with the lead, or non-lead that is. Jones goes up, he's gonna be fouled. Foul will be on number 33, Barnaby. Thirty-eight seconds left in counting. Both teams with seventeen fouls apiece. First shot misses. Bruno Leary telling his new five defenders or new five players 
to box out on that free throw, although none of that was needed as that opportunity was made by Jones. Now 34 seconds left and counting. 70 to 51, Career Academy is up over Capital Prep. Edwards trying to make a move, dribbles back. Trying to take it himself, back over to Barnaby. Barnaby lost it for a second, then Hunter is able to somehow retain that for a career. The three by Edwards. Looked to be completely off the mark, might have been tipped as it hit the outside part of the basket, the rubber part near the glass. 14 seconds left. Anderson, capital prep, has to do something. Clock is ticking. One, a long two, and that was a nothing but net shot. Two seconds, one second. And at the end of the game, 70 to 51, Capital Prep loses to Waterbury Career Academy. Capital Prep drops to a three and seven record. Waterbury Career Academy improves to now eight and one. This is a game that both teams can really learn from when you look at the amount of opportunities that were missed, sluggish play, and inauspicious play, specifically by Warbury Career Academy. This is a game that's going to be put on the highlight reel, or I shouldn't say non-highlight reel, but something that can be learned from. For Warbury Career Academy, although the opponent was not at top notch, to be able to come back as they did from the first period and really step up their game from the second period on, that's something that they can improve on going forward. I've always said, you're not going to, it's a lot, actually I'll, I'll word it this way, you learn a lot more from the games of which you don't play well rather than the games that you do. And specifically for this team, they're going to learn a lot more from this game than they would a game as they did from Woodland the day before. A team that they, it was a one-sided game really, they knew from tip off that they were going to win that game. But playing against Capital Prep, they really saw themselves on what to improve on and I'm sure Ron O'Leary is going to be able to pick out point for point on what they did wrong. And I expect a better Career Academy team going forward. So once again, final score, 70-53. to 53. Career Academy wins over Capital Prep. My name is Christopher Saunders. This was a DET Sports Media production. I'd like to thank my cameraman tonight for all the hard work that he did. Without this, none of this would be possible. Especially before the broadcast, he was running around like a madman. So I give him a lot of credit. Thank you again for this tonight. So final score again, 70-53 Career Academy over Capital Prep. So for myself and everyone here tonight, be safe and have a good one. We'll catch you again on DET Sports Media. Have a safe one, everybody.